Vaklu saying that the Republic ship attacked first? That's madness! Unfortunately, lie or not, it's a madness people will believe. The timing of this is atrocious. A space battle above our skies? So many of our fighters lost? Curiously, only Tobin's men were involved in that battle. That shooter! Strong word, Your Majesty. But there is no good time for news like this. I recommend we continue with our plan. But won't that bring even more followers to Vaklu's side? Increasing his power? For a time, perhaps. Though we both know he's not the true threat. It's his unseen support from the shadows that we must drag out into the light. Then, and only then, can we strike. I fear by then it will be too late. Here we are, the city of Isis. It's been shut down tight for months now. General Vakru is close to declaring martial law. We won't be able to travel too far in the city. Fortunately, I have a friend in this quarter of the city. He's a doctor by the name of Dagon Ghent. His office is on the other side of the market square. It might be best if you do the talking around here. The Andoronians have a mixed view of Mandalorians after we conquered their world. hear you. Yeah, what do you want? The Republic is a stagnant beast that had been killing its people for years before the wars began. Were it not for Revan's strength, the Republic would already be dead. Only Revan was worthy of our respect. We swept through the Outer Rim without any opposition until Revan assumed command of the Republic forces. Only then did the battle turn. But as you know, only a handful of Jedi fought, while the others cowered in their halls, afraid to meet us head on. I'm sure there were good reasons. I'm not accusing you of being a coward. You commanded the Republic fleet that destroyed ours. You were a worthy opponent. Now is there something else you needed? The Republic thinks my people are dead, scattered. They are wrong. You should have destroyed us when you had the chance. As long as one Mandalorian lives, we will survive. Our honor, fortunes, and lives revolve around battle. From our earliest history, this has been our way, as it will be. Our history and our ways are something we shield from outsiders. Only on the battlefield can you truly learn of someone. There are, but those are luxuries. Luxuries that were paid for by the blood of our warriors, alive and dead. The Mandalorian clans will be united. Then we will take back our place in the galaxy. But we live in times of action, and I've said enough for now. We can speak of this again later. Now is there something else you needed? I thought that the Force would be enough of a weapon for a Jedi like yourself. Need a little something extra to work up your courage in a fight. That's a good position for a warrior to take. But even better if he relies completely on his own strength. Here you go. But don't get too attached to them. I only have time to make so many. Now is there something else you needed? I am Mandalore, leader of the Mandalorian. I will help you fight your battles and plan your strategy. But I will not be your errand boy. 
find some of the lackey to do your bidding. Now was there something else you needed? Like us, the people of Andoran are warriors. Early in their history, they built ISIS to protect them from the beasts that swarmed on their world. No matter how far they've progressed, they're fundamentally still warriors standing watch on their battlements. They don't like outsiders, and their inability to take ideas from other cultures gives them a fundamental disadvantage in warfare. They fell quickly during the Mandalorian Wars despite their martial skills. Their technology and doctrine are not in the same league as Mandalorians. It's been a while since you've docked here, eh? I suppose the lockdown has hurt your profits as well. Oh, it must be hard to shuttle people when nobody's allowed to leave. The blockade has been bad for everyone. Your manifest says it's been two months since you last came here. Oh, it's become much worse since your last trip. Military checkpoints are everywhere. It could be. Now space forces have been in full readiness ever since the space battle in orbit. Tensions are running high. All Republic vessels must be searched, and the delays are turning pilots grey before their time. And ever since the Republic fired on our space forces, things have been even slower. Bad days. Bad days. And things are getting worse. I'd get out of the system quickly if I were your friend. Well, doesn't look like you have any trade goods, so the inspection's just a formality. Here's your Starport visa. Don't lose it. They're priceless right now. If you want to leave the planet, you need a starport visa. They're very hard to get. Many people want to get out of here before things get worse. There's strict food and water rationing, and General Vaklu's troops have been very thorough in finding Republic dissidents. Bombing's very common. If you want to leave the planet, you need a starport visa. They're very hard to get. Many people want to get out of here before things get worse. Certainly. Mind what I said about his starport visa. I know one captain already who can't get back into the starport. I can't believe the Republic assaulted our space forces. If they have a secession, we should declare war. General Vaklu was an underground resistance leader during the Mandalorian occupation. <laughs> That space battle has caused hell with our schedules. Our quotas for shipments are going to be late again. Fair winds to you, Offworlder. Is it too much to hope that you are a Talosian merchant? 
These beasts you see here are for delivery to Telos, but the Republic vessels that transport them have to wait for thorough and needlessly long searches. So the city is stacked with caged beasts waiting for their ships. We have stopped gathering beasts now, but they still fill the city. For Drexel and Ryder, the Athorians brought wealth and prosperity. Our settlements prospered, but now... They have been kept in their cages for a long time. But yet at times, I feel as if something else is affecting them. Frightening them. Beasts can be sensitive to the currents within cities and people. When such things are disturbed, the beasts may echo it. Perhaps it is the city itself. Isis has fallen upon dark times, and tensions run high in the streets. These beasts you see here are for delivery to Telos, but the Republic... We have stopped gathering beasts. I am a beast rider. I have flown great distances gathering the animals you see here. We keep hoping that Ethorians or Telosians get through the Space Force's searches so that we can sell them. Our people have been here for centuries, though we were not always one with the wilds of Onderon. In ancient times, our people were criminals, prisoners who were cast out of Isis and sentenced to die by the beasts in the wilds. But our ancestors learned how to survive and even tame the mighty beasts. They became our strength and companions. We fought endlessly with Isis for resources and survival. But two generations ago, an Isis princess named Galia and a great beast rider hero, Oron Kira, married. They united our peoples. But now things are unraveling. Even the beasts can smell it in the air. Many beast riders have fallen to the city ways, and some are now no more than common thugs. Queen Talia and her cousin General Vaku argue in open councils. The beasts stir from the changes in the wind and cannot be calmed, and we beast riders find it harder to enter the city each day. No one is to leave the city without the starport visas. It chokes passage in and out of Isis. Telos was attacked by Darth Malak in the Jedi Civil War. The surface was completely destroyed. The Athorians have been searching for appropriate wildlife to create a new Telos, but their merchants are stalled by the blockade. Control! that grow in the telling. Not since my first Drexel have I lost control of a beast. I apologize profusely. Here, I give you these credits for the danger I put you in. The beast grow more agitated by the day. The stories say that the smoldering fires of city politics cast a smoke they can smell and breathe. They revert to their primal instincts, as, as you've just seen. When they get that way, not even a skilled beast rider can control them. As soon as I leave here, I will talk with my family. There is much to be discussed. Please keep them. It salves the shame my beast's behavior has brought me. Halt, Offworlder. You'll have to answer some questions before you go into the city. What is your business on Isis? 
Uh, why not? I can see you have no crates or cargo, and your ship is obviously not affiliated with the Republic. You're free to go. Don't lose your starport visa, otherwise you won't be leaving for a long while. You're already cleared to enter the merchant quarter. Now move along. Queen Talia is a smart and capable ruler. The times before... Please, Captain, help me. My children and I are desperate to get off of Onderon. Do you have an open starport visa? My husband was killed by General Vaclu's troops. Our home was seized, and we were cast out. We have seen many wars on Isis, and I know war is coming. I want to spare my children from bloodshed. The military is divided, some supporting the Queen, others supporting General Vaclu. Their arguments over seceding from the Republic become angrier and more public every day. General Vaclu has said that if the Queen doesn't rule with the consent of the people, she has no right to the throne. Things could get bloody. My husband... He was part of the Isis Council. He was a strong supporter of the Queen and the Republic. His views weren't always popular. Over time, he became convinced that Vaklu was trying to kill Queen Talia. He... he tried to kill Vaklu. To protect the Queen, the conspiracy was discovered. And he was shot during the arrest. What he did was wrong. And our life has been so difficult since then. I just want to get off this planet and start a new life. Please, help us. No one else will. I'm not supposed to talk to off-worlders. You have the look of someone used to adversity. A cut above the rabble around here. I have a business proposition for you. Everyone around here begs and pleads night and day for open starport visas. Very touching how well they act out their lies. Or truths. It doesn't matter, really. What does matter is credits. Hard currency. I offer you 2,000 credits if you find an open starport visa. You won't find a better deal. Does it matter? Truly matter? No. I have no sad story. I just know people who will pay a great deal for an open starport visa. The credits are your share of my profits. The visas are very rare, but I have a feeling you may come across one. Ask someone who cares about that. Isis has suffered for many years. The strongest of us are accustomed to it now. Welcome to what must be the smelliest place in the universe, Offworlder. How can I assist you? That's an air defense tower. The city's filled with them. Isis is an ancient city, and for many generations, our main enemy was the Beast Riders that lived outside the city. Towers like these were built to protect us against Drexel and their Beast Riders. A Drexel is a flying beast. Huge creatures with teeth the size of your arms. Lethal, and skin like ferro-steel plates. Somehow the Beast Riders figured out how to tame them years ago. That's a long story. Sure you have the time? Most people don't care for an old soldier spinning a tale or two. Someone else who likes history, huh? All right. Isis was formed pretty much at the dawn of our civilization. 
It was born out of necessity. It protected us from the dangerous beasts that litter Onderon. This city is as old as our civilization. Most of our technology was invented to fortify these walls and protect us. For ages, our worst criminals were cast out of the city to an almost certain death. It wasn't completely certain, though. Some of the criminals figured out how to survive out there. They learned how to tame the native beasts. And it wasn't long before they turned their attention to Isis. About 50 years ago, Princess Gallia married one of the great leaders of the Beast Riders, Orin Kira. That was right at the start of the Beast Wars. By the end of it, Gallia was crowned queen, and finally there was peace between our people. It's hard to put aside centuries of conflict. There's an uneasiness between our people. The Beast Riders are upset that General Vaklu has forbidden Drexel and Isis. Citizens usually only see the fallen Beast Riders, who know better than thugs. Certainly, things are quiet right now. I have some time. What do you want to talk about? Athorians have been buying them to help rebuild Telos. I don't know why. But ever since they started, the Beast Riders have been crawling out of the woodworks to sell them animals. But the Republic blockade has meant long delays. And because of that, Beast Cages are filling up the streets of Isis. These are troubled times. You've probably heard that General Vaklu and Queen Talia are having some disagreements. I've been warned from command to keep my opinions to myself on that. So I've learned my lesson. I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Ask around, though. There are plenty of people who'd like nothing more than to talk about it. Times are too complex for a simple soldier like myself. Sometimes I made the mistake of answering questions honestly. If you say anything bad about a superior officer, they call that disrespecting the rank. Do that too many times, and it's not long before you're a civilian. The politics of the day is probably the most talked about subject in the city, and everyone wants to share their particular view of what's going on. Opinions are like Giska around here. They breed like mad. Gladly. This is a topic I'd much rather avoid. Stay out of trouble. Please tell me you're an off-worlder. You came from the spaceport, right? But this is good news. You have a starport visa, right? I can only sell my best weapons if you have that. These soldiers ensure that I don't forget these formalities. Watch it, Keg. The captain already has enough complaints about you. No need to be alarmed, my foreign friend. Pay the soldier no heed. Pretend he isn't here. General Vaklu is concerned about well-armed insurgents. They've had to get arms from somewhere. Not for me, of course, but all sales of weapons have been severely restricted. I can only sell to off-worlders like you that have the proper clearance. And now off-worlders can't come here because of the blockade and searches, but it's a wise policy. Of course, soldiers are only doing their job. Even if it puts me out of business, I am happy. <laughs> Even if I'm forced to live off scraps in the street, I am so happy to do my part. <laughs> Long live General Vaklu. Oh, everything is great here. <laughs> We're all very happy. So very happy. Large variety of weapons. My stock is very good. You might want to buy some before the general decides he needs more blasters. Then weapon merchants like myself have the honor of providing them to him at a substantial discount. Even below what it costs us. Uh, we do it happily or else. Or else what, Gag? Or else we are very unhappy at not being able to do our part. <laughs>
Kawana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora. Ya sora ku tuka ulwanji yuma litwa. Shanek ma winbok lelenko sobaramwe. Da hupa bosa kurata go jujutu yoki. Hiata yamba wajiaki yukito tune. Kavadumba munsuru kupla liyawa. Bo bagaragawanda yaitua ulwanji yuma. Mogachi norta hirembe wanachi. Kaki mogo krabo. Drum pabana karas mangra. Kalala vadumba kumpaile mokata. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Tayaita ta bosana nansata. Kawana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora. Ya sora ku tuka ulwanji yuma litwa. Shanek ma winbo klelenko sobaramwe. Kavadumba munsuru kupla liyawa. Bo bagaragawanda yaitua ulwanji yuma. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Tayaita ta bosana nansata. Fereki mangra du no coherete, jun sombo marampi no su clala so buto. Cristo chuentisime soto. Taracho mo sincho cava volpa muligi, kumana minta barawamba, miche dos. Kawana bota, yunta tanga kinamatura. Tayaita, ta bosana nansata. On dollar no saga, drum pavana caras mangra. Kawana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora. Ya sora ku tuka ulwanji yuma litwa. Shanek ma winbo klelenko sobaramwe. Variki, mangra, do cha, skrini do pat. Slime nun kwa hiriti, kris kurcha wintisi mesoto. Kawana bota ayuta tanga kinamatura. Tayaita, ta bosana nansata. Da wancha mori kon sova. Ma wani din chori ki sodu sobarenwa. Dorjine soba wata. Unta chiwita inka ki kraya na chawanga kone. Kawana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora. Ya sora ku tuka ulwanji yuma litwa. Shanek ma winbo klelenko sobaramwe. Da hupa bosa kurata go jujutu yoki. Hiata yamba wajiaki yukito tune. I'm quite busy right now. Perhaps later we could talk. There must come a time when the Queen bows to the will of the people. The Republic has brought nothing but war and death. In our 50 years of flying their colors, we have had more war than the past millennia. Back General Vaclu in his effort to make her see reason. We do not need the Republic. They need our resources, our world, and our blood. For all that we have given, now we get nothing. The Republic is weak and falling apart. Its Jedi, whose fallen brethren have brought such misery to us, have disbanded. Let's be the first world to take our future into our hands. Are you with me? No, they take from us. They are like Minox, sucking energy and resources from so many worlds. They bleed us for their bureaucracy and their excesses. That's enough, Ponlar. If you keep this up, you're going to spend time in detention. You're coming awfully close to treason. You can't silence me forever, soldier. But I'll keep my peace. For now. I'm going to have to find another soul for Chief Fuel now. If I speak more right now, the soldiers will arrest me. Perhaps later.
I'm quite busy right now. Perhaps later we could talk. is restricted to military personnel only. Stay clear of here, off-worlder. The sky ramp leads to the battlements, and this particular ramp leads straight to the palace itself. No civilians are allowed past this point. I'm the one in charge here, off-worlder. If you try to get past me, then you'll have the entire Isis garrison on you in seconds. There's no chance of that, Offworlder. The palace is locked down tight, and only authorized personnel are allowed in. I am Captain Bastuco. I have served loyally in the Onderon military for 20 years. 20 years would mean you were here during the Mandalorian Wars, right? I was a soldier when the Mandalorians took our world, and I fought in the Resistance. When we drove them from Onderon, I served on the Wall for 10 years after. You mean after the Jedi drove the Mandalorians from Onderon? The Mandalorians never gave ground to any Onderon soldier. Such a view could be considered treason. Onderon was responsible for much of the fighting during the last days of the war. Without General Vaklu, the Republic would have fallen. General Vaklu is my superior officer, and I respect the chain of command. He kept the Resistance alive when the Mandalorians were destroying our world. The wall is the barrier between Isis and the Onderon wilderness. For hundreds of years, we kept the city free of beasts and beast rider scum. The greatest honor for an officer is to serve on the wall. Many aspire to the post, but few are worthy of it. I was requested to guard the sky ramp in the merchant quarter. My personal feelings on the matter are irrelevant. I received an order, and I carried it out. This terminal isn't for off-worlders, or civilians for that matter. I suggest you back away.
Have any work that needs to be done? This is Dagon Ghent's place. He's not the best doctor you'll ever meet, but he's well connected in this city. Doesn't look like he's here right now, though. You looking for Dagon? You're not gonna find him here. A soldier captain was murdered at the cantina real good. They got some suspects at the tower. From what I hear, Dagon Ghent is one of them. It's the turret tower on the other side of the market. Captain Riken is the man to talk to. If you talk to him, tell him I got his 20 credits. Cavadumpa Munsuru Kupla Liawa Bo Bagaragawanda Yaitua Uluanti Uma Takometa Kapla Yia Justing Miki Gongo Beaste Chone Mulera Tonghinga Bano Jansaka Nikarashka Tanja Nik Mauimbo Granda Cavadumba Munsur Kupla Liawa Bo Bagaragawanda Yaitua Uluanti Uma Cavadumba Munsur Kupla Liawa Bo Bagaragawanda Yaitua Uluanti Uma Tacometa Cabla Yia Justin Mikigongo Beast Ui, grabi la kino mula raki 
chia puta casa kisha. Ta cometa ka plaia justing mi ki gon ko beast. Un grabi la kino mula ra chi puta casa kisha. Kava dumpa mun suru ku plaia wa. Bo bagaragawanda yai tua uluanji uma. Tongi te mosi jochia yumba di tawa e bawa tune ruta. Ta kometa. There's got to be something you need, something you want. I have connections, many connections in the city. I can provide high quality unique weapons that you won't be able to find elsewhere. I even have a rare lightsaber crystal, something you'd never find elsewhere. If you need money, I'll pay you 5,000 credits. All I ask is get me one open starport visa. Don't worry what I'll do with a visa. Maybe I'll just take a vacation. Maybe I just want to visit my mother on Nar Shaddaa. Decent citizens like you really don't want to know what I'm going to do with it. I am not going to tell you what I'm using it for. Considering what I'm willing to pay or give you, no questions asked seems reasonable. Because we'll trade them simultaneously. And if you aren't satisfied with your payment, I'll let you switch it for something else. I don't want to cross a Jedi. It's a small universe. I don't really care about the trouble that's behind you or ahead of you. We have exactly one thing we can talk about. Starport visas. Many Jedi have fought on this world. One of them lost their lightsaber in the Beast Wars. A reliable source says it's a rare Quixoni crystal. Incredibly rare and valuable. Quixoni crystals are from an earlier age. Some of the first Jedi found them on a planet whose sun was dying. At the time, they were matchless in power. The star went nova millennia ago. They are as rare and as valuable as she suggests. I see that's grabbed your interest, eh? There's only one way you're going to get it. One open starport visa. No visa, no crystal. I really can't be any help with that. I might have been in the same detention cell that night that Dagon's in now. The soldiers were asking me some entertaining questions that night. I've got no idea what was going on. Let's just say I'm one of their usual suspects. It sort of comes with the territory. That's all I'm going to say. with you. You're a Jedi, right? I was one of the ground troops. We fought on Daggery Minor together. It was near the beginning of the war. We didn't win that battle. Enough of the past. The whole galaxy isn't safe for Jedi now, especially here. Onderon has suffered through three wars started by fallen Jedi. Do you still serve the Republic? I didn't mean any offense, but this is the first good thing that's happened to me in days. I was sent by the Republic Senate to investigate certain delicate matters that are happening on Onderon. It's worse than we feared. I have to get to Coruscant to deliver my report. But days before I was planning to leave, they started requiring starboard visas. After the Jedi Civil War, the Republic was weak, and the cost of the Jedi Order was staggering. This entire region is unstable, and the entire Republic government could collapse. If Onderon secedes, other worlds may follow, and that can't be allowed to happen. Trade between our worlds has brought economic prosperity. And people just take it for granted. All worlds are now interconnected. The Senate also smooths over differences and is a great instrument for peace. If the Republic falls apart, a thousand little wars born out of petty rivalries will erupt over time. Eventually, 
The entire galaxy could be thrown into a dark age. I really can't say. The most I will say is stay clear of General Backward. His ambition knows no bounds. I believe the people of Isis are absolutely correct. The civil war is brewing, and Vaklu may very well win if I can't get to Coruscant in time. Thank you for the tip. The journey to Coruscant would be more costly and attract more attention. But there are many freighters bound for Telos. What do you want to know about that night? Dagon Gen didn't do it. Because he was with me at the time. It's quite simple. Right now he's accused of murder. If he's convicted, the sentence is death. If he's accused of espionage, let's say assisting a Republic spy, then the penalty for that is death. I'm afraid the Andoronians are quite fond of their death penalty. So if I stood up for him, he'd be trading one death sentence for another. I was with Dagon in his office at the time of the murder. He definitely wasn't involved with her murder. We were taking great pains not to be seen, which has a certain irony to it, really. If you can free him, please do. He's been invaluable with his help to the Republic. I only wish there was something I could do to help him. Assuming we get Dagon free, we're going to have a few private words about this. Together, we fought against the Republic during the Mandalorian Wars. I don't particularly like the idea that he's working for them now. The information I have is vital to the Senate. I hope you can help. My mission requires the most extreme caution and delicacy. I don't want to risk going through channels to get a visa. General Vackler is not above arranging an accident for me. I'm taking a great risk talking to you, but I'm running out of options. Thank you, but this is a personal Starport visa. It is key to you and you alone. I appreciate your gesture, but I need an open Starport visa. Those are transferable and work for anyone. Helping me is not without its risks. I know you have Jedi training, so you can probably handle it. But I may be being watched. If, if that would compromise your mission, perhaps we should go our separate ways. Nice to meet you, sentient. Are you interested in a friendly game of Pazak? The deck is warm, the drink is plentiful, and the company amiable. Can I tempt you? Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? Nova. He's probably my best friend on this planet. Honestly, he's not a very good doctor. But he is a great drinking companion. I'd much rather talk about something else. Focusing on the negative is no way for a gambler to live.
Tawini Malre, una bola que chua wantunga tong. Trachi kusa kunta chua tun bora ramwa. Don sobo marimpa, koma rikatan in bona kea sorupa man wanti, e kama grondi samarakanti. Mogaji, Norta, Imbrae, we sota mi che pratanga no me vide to ta rocha wana chiki. From the brava, ni kati shosa gor kawa tumpa, o la tele we ni kata. Di shunko, jova, ni cha chimba, paksi tre tuju si tuju pitie, prim tava nim soju. We don't say grate, roto ta de chala wara kun sa zoto. Chuba tone king chuba mi, soko goche, ti chike chusu moko tabra. Grabe chu sai kroingi viti hong doga. Kuriko asotoya e ringe fri te de ducha, or samba sukna kakla wie tinya tal chiro runta gamsa. Kroto no ranga manatandi kroto, opi una wana si jin si wano bosh. Nunchka wana si chuku wana pa manga kan, opi tra wacho si nuchu to. Tanto todos, tu muka rata. Me ranga no roto, dosi mana rachata. Nsukre ma sukun batungala, me ronto no chun sa raka roto. Minsukun rakawata, poendo rata mana sogu. Nsukre ma sukun batungala, me ronto no chun sa raka roto. Minsukun rakawata, poendo rata mana sogu. Minsukrei ma sukun ratungala, me ronto no chun sa raka roto. Minsukun rakawata, poendo rata mana sogu. Aramon tok tu muka rachukorak, grun kanawana mochi ni to rabanaka, dosi mona ra raja, dona chi drum paba nakaras. Tanto todos tu muka rata, me ranga no roto, dosi mana rachata. Kroto no ranga mana tandi kroto, opi luna wana si jin si wano bosh. Maranga do risa vota, govona me, suja to la bache ka mantuch, vortek joka. Tochi no motorunta, pagi chisa. Kavadunta masura ku, papayi potenya, tache morota kamsa, javas kobo sabjo, mechisa karo nukso, mochi tosa sagrindeo. Mizoto minaka de sama kama kach vituto. Bakaroze zo mama. Potaka chi bintano. Bereka tocha haremba. Sobo rama hota wata kan. Jun sobe me rap. No kuma randisa machiksa. Kucha bak tong kinka mata kata. Chopa wanga kun not ka yutka kes. Potenya go juto picha when taba ni soju norotoga proto lala shishi juwa dosa jiba cha ratak monsa tokosha na chito kava dunta masura ku papa yi potenya tache morota kamsa javas kobo sabjo michi sokaru enokso mochi tosa sagrindeyo 
Por nacho ni so pa maranga do risa vota. Govona me. Sucha to la bache ka matuch. Por tek choka. Yo veri nincha. Yo no na shikasa chu. Jun so pa me rap. No kuma randi sa mak chiksa. Kucha bak tong kinka mata kata. Chopa wanga kun not ka yutka kes. Kava dunle masura ku kopa yi potenya. Tachi mureva kamsa. Javas kobo sabjo. Miji so karve nokso. Mochi to sasa grindeyo. Kava dunle masura ku kopa yi potenya. Tachi mureva kamsa. Javas kobo sabjo. Miji so karve nokso. Mochi to sasa grindeyo. The Hupo Botanya go Zucho Picha, when Taba ni Sochu, no Toga Proto Lala Shishi, Juba Dosa Jibacha, Latak Mansan, Tokosha Nachitola Kavadunga Masuraku, Popayi Botanya, Dutch Sunaranga Macho Tanet. Kavadumpe masura ku popayi potenya tachi moroza kamsa javas kobo sabjo riji sokar venokso mochi to sasa grindeyo tahupo potenya go zucho picha wen taba ni sochu no toga proto lala shishi juga dosa jibacha matak mansan tokosha na chito kavadumpe masura ku popayi potenya tachi moroza kamsa javas kobo sabjo riji sokar venokso Mochi to sasa grindeyo. Da hupo botenya go zucho picha. Wen taba ni sochu. Marotoga proto lala shishi. Juga dosa jibacha. Ratak mansan. Dokosha na chitola. Kavadumpe masura ku. Popayi botenya. Tachi moroza kamsa. Javas kobo sabjo. Riji so karve nokso. Mochi to sasa grindeyo. This room is reserved, Offworlder. I suggest you leave the room, Offworlder. I've got all the fans I need right here, so go space yourself. This room is reserved, Offworlder. <laughs> if you ask me, she got what she deserved. She looked down on us beast riders. Good riddance. I know his face, that's about it. His office is on Bekel's turf. She's a beast rider like me and our leader. You better never be speaking ill of her, or else. BAD, an automated droid vendor. I have in stock a variety of quality droid components, no refunds, and no haggling. Do you have any interest in my goods? Certainly. 1BAD is programmed to answer many basic questions from prospective buyers. What do you want to know? That information is restricted. 
Do you have any interest in my goods? Isis is the only city on the planet Onderon. All other information on this subject has been restricted. Sorry, my memory banks have no information on that subject. Please restate your question or ask another. Certainly. Warning. Any attempt to interfere with 1B AD's primary function will result in violence. Please back away from this unit's access panel. I am 1B AD. Certainly. 1B. Warning. Idiot. I am 1B. Have any work that needs to be done? Some of those, some of those, hey. a lot of credits to be made around here. Have any work that have any work that needs to be done? We saw Mogo Dosi Sheba Dente School in Mostovigit Yavach, Victor Shan, Bram Tabani Sochu. The come just mak Miki Baranye to so so Rika Chondin, one of my grable Mogo. Yatuka, who won Rika Chotin, one name or Rata Wakata, Chiguman. Cavadumpa, Mo Windido Chokeremi Norta Kunyun wish Chawaka Chuba, Sura. Dachi Morotuko Ganza. Good to see you again. Any luck with the visa?
Do you have a visa yet? I'm still paying very well for it. Some unique items you won't get anywhere else, including a lightsaber crystal. General, we have found them again. Have we, Tobin? Or is this a preface to another of your failures? Consider the whole field, Tobin. Why would a Jedi risk all of this just to come to Isis? The crew of the Ebon Hawk is elusive, General. We were warned about that, but we still underestimated them. But the fools are here, in Isis. The intel on this is certain. I'm ordering men loyal to us to take care of them now. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Hold that order. Have him watched instead. The Jedi may prove a solution to another one of our persistent problems. I'm quite busy right now. Perhaps later we could talk. <laughs> 